Welcome to IAS project. In this video, let's talk about economy in later Vedic period. We already know that in the later Vedic period, agriculture became very very important. And the later Vedic people practiced mixed farming. I told you that mixed farming simply means cultivation of crops along with raising of livestock. That is nothing but raising of cattle. However, within the mixed farming, for these people, cultivation of crops was the most important activity. After cultivation of crops, they also raised animals. That is why there was a decrease in pastoralism and there was also decrease in semi-nomadic forms of living. Nomad word means wanderer. So since later Vedic people were not semi-nomads, these people led a settled life. Settled life simply means they settled in villages. And after settling in villages, these people carried on agriculture nearby. So we can say that since most of the people led settled life, there were some people who were practicing pastoralism and semi-nomadic forms of living. But these people were very very less compared to the people who were living in villages. So since the people started to live in villages, there was also an advance in material life. Material life simply means that the material things that people were using increased greatly. For example, in later Vedic period, the number of pots they were using, the type of houses these people were building, the type of metal implements these people were using, all these things advanced greatly. That is why we say there was an advance in material life in later Vedic period. So if we talk about some of the occupations, then metal work was being done, leather work was being done, carpentry and pottery were also being done in later Vedic period. Moreover, all these activities saw a great progress compared to early Vedic period. So if we talk about metal work, then in early Vedic period, only copper and bronze and some amount of tin was being used. However, in later Vedic period, the highest importance was given to iron metal. So iron metal was probably introduced somewhere around 1200 BCE to 1000 BCE. Please note that this date is different in different books. But what you have to understand is iron started to be used in India just before later Vedic period started. So just before 1000 BCE, iron tools started to be used in India. Some books also say that iron started to be used first in India somewhere around 1400 BC. But whatever the case is, this is the most realistic timeline for use of iron in India. You can note that this timeline mainly matches with early Vedic period. However, we associate the usage of iron with later Vedic period. Please remember this point. So in the case of later Vedic literature, iron has been called as Shyama Ayas or Krishna Ayas. I already told you that the meaning of Shyama and Krishna actually is dark. That is why iron has also been called as dark metal. Moreover, copper has been called as Lohita Ayas. The word Lohita actually means red. That is why copper can also be called as red metal. Anyway, the meaning of these words is not important. But please remember that iron has been called as Shama Ayas or Krishna Ayas and copper has been called as Lohita Ayas. The word Ayas in general meant metal. This is also important. So later Vedic people used different metals. For example, they used copper, bronze, tin and they also used silver, gold and iron. We know about silver and gold, particularly they used Krishnala as well as Satamana. We know about Krishnala and Satamana only from later Vedic literature. We did not find any archaeological evidences. However, we have found archaeological evidences of other metals. For example, we have found many copper objects as well as iron objects from PGW sites. We know that painted graver sites basically belong to later Vedic period. That is why these copper objects and iron objects are associated with later Vedic period. In later Vedic period, people also made glasswares as well as bangles. Particularly, they made glass beads. So such kind of bangles as well as glass beads have also been found in PGW layers in North India. Please note here, sometimes I am using the word layer and previously in the last slide, I used the word site here. 
So what is difference between site and layer? Site can be any place. Okay. Once you go to a site and then you start digging, what you will find is you will find different artifacts in different layers. Layer simply means a depth. Okay. So it may be possible that at the bottom most layer, you are finding stone tools. And in the layer above this, it is possible that you are finding copper tools. And in the above layer, you may be finding PGW pottery along with iron tools. So above this layer, you may be finding northern black polished ware, which is associated with Mahajanapada period. Above this, you may be finding something else. Above this, you may be finding aeroplane. We don't know what will happen in the future. But what you need to understand is, even at a single place, it is totally possible that different cultures can be found in different layers. We already know that whatever is in the bottom most layer, it is the oldest culture. Whereas whatever is in the uppermost layer, it is the newest culture. For example, if you consider Chirand in Bihar, then Chirand was a Neolithic site. And in Chirand, stone tools as well as bone tools can be found. Just for the sake of example, hypothetically, it is possible that Chalcolithic people also settled in Chirand. So copper tools could also be found here. Similarly, Chirand falls into Videha kingdom. That is why later Vedic people could also have settled in Chirand. So PGW pottery as well as iron tools could also be found. Similarly, Chirand is close to Pataliputra or Patna and Pataliputra or Patna was basically very, very important during Mahajanapada period. So it is possible that we also find Northern black polished ware pottery. Similarly, in modern times also, Chirand is occupied. So modern evidences also could be found here. So this way you can see that within a single place, you can find different artifacts within different layers. So in this way, in the PGW layers of North Indian sites, we have found hoards of glassware as well as bangles. We also know what is hoard. Hoard is basically a group of items which were buried by ancient people. They need not be ancient people. They can be anyone actually. But if you are finding this buried treasure after a long time, then they are called hoards. We also discussed a word which is called as cash. Cash is basically a hoard which is particularly buried. So if a hoard is buried, it is called as cash. Some hoards are not buried. Okay. But if hoards are buried, then they are called as cash. Let's go forward. In later Vedic period, new types of artisans also came up. Artisan simply means people who are involved in artistic works. For example, basket making was done, rope making was done and dyeing of cloth was also done in later Vedic period. Moreover, in later Vedic period, these artistic works or these art forms also became more specialized. For example, weaving was done exclusively by women. So men were not doing weaving during later Vedic period. This means that art forms were more specialized. Let me explain you what is the meaning of the word specialized. At some point of time, you must have gone to McDonald's. So in McDonald's, you will see that there is a person at the counter who is taking the order. And once he takes the order, he will take a small slip and he will stick it behind him. What happens is, Another person will look at the order and then he will see that a burger needs to be made. Okay, that person is exclusively dedicated to making burgers. Another person is there who will be making french fries. And some other person may be there who may be making you some let's say McFlurry ice cream or something. So this is called as specialization of labor or division of labor. This term is very important in the case of economy. It simply means that a person is specialized in doing a particular activity. So the person is not going to make burger and then make french fries and then prepare an ice cream for you. One person will be doing burgers, another person will be doing french fries and some other person will be doing ice cream. Once all these three are done, there will be a new person who will assemble all these and he will give it to you. This is called as division of labor or specialization of labor. What happens because of division of labor is each person gets specialized in that activity. Because of such specialization, the efficiency of the work increases. Let me give you another example. Every industry you see today has division of labor within it. 
यू गो एंड सी अ कार फैक्ट्री और अ मोबाइल फैक्ट्री और एनी अदर फैक्ट्री स्पेशलाइजेशन ऑफ लेबर इज बींग डन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू गो टू कार फैक्ट्री वॉट हैपन्स इज देर इज एन असेंबली लाइन एंड ऑन दिस असेंबली लाइन देर इज अ मेटल बॉडी ऑफ द कार नव वॉट हैपन्स इज देर आर डिफरेंट पर्सन इन डिफरेंट स्टेशन द फर्स्ट पर्सन विल इंस्टॉल द स्टीयरिंग व्हील एंड देन वेन द कार मूव फॉरवर्ड द नेक्स्ट पर्सन विल इंस्टॉल द टायर्स and the next person will install let's say headlamps and the last person will paint something like this so once the car keeps moving forward another car comes in the sequence so this is what happens when specialization of labor or division of labor is there this is very important to increase the efficiency of the work that is being done all this is important from the point of view of economy it is not important in this syllabus here but please understand that even in later vedic period many art forms became specialized also there were people who were doing entertainment for example there were groups of acrobats like you can see in this picture so what you are seeing in this picture is basically acrobatics so such kind of acrobats were there in later vedic period fortune tellers were also there flute players and other musical instrument players were also there and dancers were also there so all these were part of later vedic economy please like and subscribe you can download this presentation from our telegram channel the name of the channel is ias project you can find the link for this channel in the description section below thank you